guys, I want to ask the question to you. This will be our final topic of the evening. I want to, I ran a poll and I, th I thought the results were pretty interesting. So I want to address this briefly because I, I want to ask the, you know, the the chat and the panel here kind of what, what's going on. And this was a separate poll we'll address in a different chat. But I wanted to bring up the statue topic, right? So I ran a poll and you can see here the results. Do you collect statues? 33% yes. 67% uh, no. So a lot of collectors, these are primarily 1-6 collectors, obviously, and they don't collect statues, you know, maybe space, money, whatever the case may be. But I want to ask the question, are Hot Dudes collectors overlooking statues? Because until you get your first statue, there's something special about it. There's something special about Hot Dudes too. They each have their own little place in your collection. But statues are... It's tough, man, because I love both of them. And I try to make room for both of them. You can't have as many statues. I get that. They take up way more real estate. It's challenging, right? But Kiko, you're a man who has statues. You have figures. Are Hot Toys collectors overlooking statues here? What do you think? I wouldn't say they're overlooking, but I certainly overlooked myself. I remember when I went to... Story time. Get that off my page. I don't want to see that. <laughs> this is an NR, bro. This is Queen City. Okay, I, 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 I got triggered for a second. Sorry. <laughs> This but, is the good um, one. This is the good uh, one. But I went, I remember when I went and picked up a couple local figures um, from somebody here. And I went into their house. They were selling some, you know, six scale figures, whatever. And I was amazed because I'd never really seen in person. This is before I'd actually been to Replay Toys, because Replay Toys is where I see all the statues in person. Because there's a sideshow affiliate, all that stuff. So this was beforehand. And I'd never seen a premium format statue in person. And like I walked in there to get what I had bought. But I, I'll be damned if I wasn't looking a little harder at some of them, just from the colors, the poses. Uh, I'm thinking of there was a, there there's one they had specifically. There was a it was a cyclops or whatever, and just th the way it's built, the way everything lays. I mean, you're going to get the best pose you can possibly take. But there there's my venom right there. Um, that is one of the coolest pieces I've ever seen, and that's why I own it. And it's so cool. Um, you walk up my stairs, and there it is. But I wouldn't say people are overlooking it by any means because it's hard to miss them. It depends on, hey, do I really want to dedicate this much shelf space? And I think if anyone's listening to this, you've probably heard us talk enough about it, about how cautious you need to be potentially when it comes to these. No one is just going out on a whim saying, yeah, I'll just drop eight $800 on this giant ass thing that I have to possibly rent a truck to get home. Um, no one's doing that. There, there's very few impulse buys with statues. So I think that helps it as well. If you're buying a statue, you know what you're getting it for. And most likely it means something to you. But I will say, until you've seen one in person, I don't think you can judge those that do have them because they do hit different. That's what they I'll do say. it different. There's something pretty special about it. I mean, some of the statues I have here, most of them prime one. I mean, Sauron, Balder and Kratos, Jin Sakai. I mean, these statues are just absolutely incredible. And some of my favorite pieces in my entire collection. As much as I love my hot toys, man, this, it'd be hard to give up these statues. That said, Marco, what do you think? I mean, I think you, do you have any statues I don't remember? I don't yet, no. Mm, okay, so you're in the boat then. So what do you think? I mean, have you considered statues? What's been your thought process? I definitely have thought about statues. And there have been a few that speak to me. I think the ones that are most appealing are representation I can't get in 1.6. So mm. this Venom is a perfect example. There was also a premium format or I think Maquette uh, Bane that sold out recently that I, I really liked. I saw it in Calvin's collection. I kept my draws on, but it looks great. It's kind of, he's got this, you know, uh, arms cross pose. It had the Batmobile as the base, it had swappable heads. And I was like, this is something that I cannot get a figure of. And the presence, even if I did get a figure, the presence would be nowhere near the same. Um, and it was reasonably priced as well. I think it was like in the 600 range. Um, so, so something like that is very appealing to me. But I'm a, I'm a bit nervous because I know myself. I know the moment I get one, I'm going to want a whole bunch. And so, yeah, this the Queen Studios puts out incredible stuff. J&D, um, that, that's obviously just on the deep end of what I would ever do. But who knows? If I, if I got... Um, introduced into the hobby who knows what i would do i've got an addictive personality so i think overall i th i think it's i stick with figures and i think a lot of other folks stick with figures because it's a little closer to the action figures that i grew up with right it's, it's just kind of an adult version of those action figures and the statues are just a little bit removed from that they're like fun display pieces but it doesn't give you that posability it doesn't give me that feeling of being a kid again and maybe that's the point maybe it's a bit more mature step for a lot of people 
and, and oh gosh, the Sauron is incredible as well. So you're not getting the figure of this. I mean, maybe in art will do him eventually, but it'll be nowhere near this prime one statue um, that, that will you've got. Um, so yeah, at, at the end of the day, I think I am overlooking them, but I'm okay for now, just kind of staying within my figure realm because it's just a little bit closer to what I love, but I'm not opposed to getting a figure if there's something that really, really spoke to me. And of course the price had to be right. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, someone asked, uh, Will, can you show the Jin Sakai statue? I mean, I can show it. I mean, it's right behind me, but let's see if I can get out of the way. So you can see it's right there, right? Oh, your guns and, are blocking, Will. You, oh, Did my you? gun. You can see Dark Side Anakin, actually, to the uh, to the other side. So I can't, can't put it in the right direction. But that's the Jin Sakai statue. A little bit out of focus, right? But you can see how much presence it has. Dude, it is incredible. Obviously, all this would be behind Maja cases, which they actually are arriving over the next couple of weeks. Very excited about that. But... This Jin Sakai is absolutely incredible. You can see Balder and Kratos on that side over there. Sorry, I can never get my hands. The camera's opposite. But basically, and then Sauron's back there. And then I have other statues you know, around as well. And the Infinity Gauntlet. I guess I consider that a statue, right? Infinity Gauntlet one-to-one. -one. So It's an incredible yeah, piece. Dude, there are some really incredible things out there. So, And like someone put out uh, J&D. Dinesh said J&D is about to do Christopher Reeves. They are. They've teased it. So, yeah, I mean, there's some really good stuff. I don't own a j and I've never had one. I was going to get one at one point. I decided not to. Um, but, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of great statues. And they're even smaller statues. They don't have to be quarter scale, half scale, whatever. Um, there's a lot of great stuff out there. So, guys, consider it. There's even Iron Studios 10 scale. Those are a nice little gateway. But the Prime 1 and, uh, j you know, and j and and Queen and all that, they just hit different. You know, they're just, they're interesting. But you got to be more selective. They take up a lot of your budget. So, Got to be, you got to plan them out. So.